Hello, I'm Dr. Kim Blevins, a retired pediatrician, and we're going to briefly discuss a condition called cutaneous larva migraines, which you probably, uh, if you're watching this, um, found me by uh, Googling that condition. And it's one where the larva of uh, uh, one of two or three, uh, usually dog um, parasites, hookworms, manages to get into the skin, generally on the foot from the yard, uh, and uh, as the name implies, the, uh, the larva migrates through the skin. So I've seen this maybe a dozen times in, uh, in my 40 years of practice. And then just uh, three, four days ago, maybe five, noticed it on my own foot. Um, so I was looking back reviewing how to treat this condition. And uh, it mentions oral abendazole and mybendazole and even topical thiabendazole. Uh, the first two of which uh, could be kind of expensive, the third uh, being really difficult to find, uh, and it even talks about uh, using cryotherapy like the cold you use to freeze a wart or, uh, or the cold stuff to uh, numb your skin in sports, um, which I thought about doing. And then um, it dawned on me that this is just a little small creature similar to a worm, very um, fragile. And just like uh, you can step on a worm and that's the end of that, why would trauma not, uh, not take care of this? So in, in a minute, I'm going to show you a picture of where this, this started under the skin and migrated around. And then I decided uh, um, yesterday to put pressure with uh, about the tip of a pin, maybe five, six times, kind of hard, almost to where it created a little blister there. And... Uh, and it seems like that has taken care of things. Up to that point, uh, I would mark the spot each day where the end of the trail was. Uh, the critter migrates mostly at night, and they would move about a centimeter um, during the night, and the next day I would mark it again. And so far, as of yesterday when I treated this, it has not moved any. So let me get a close-up picture and show you of what this looks like. So this entered my skin over about here migrated up this way and I noticed it uh, and right here where this blister is and it took a turn came down around here went up whoops sorry and crisscrossed again underneath the blister then looped around and came back to this spot right down here and uh, that's where I applied the pressure enough to five six times to, uh, to actually cause a little blister there um, and uh, as you can see, the, the trail has not extended any, any further from there. Well, I forgot to mention that there's usually only one larva in there, and it's always, or essentially always, right at the end of the tunnel that you see. So you want to be putting the pressure right at the end of that tunnel. And uh, if you uh, find that helpful or not, please leave me a comment.